My name's Angelo, and welcome to We Want Picks. I am going to walk through some picks and plays for DraftKings for UFC Vegas 40, Lad versus Dumont. Weigh-ins are over. We did lose a fight. We lost Jordan Wright versus Julian Marquez because Julian Marquez, I don't know, it said non-COVID medical issue, which tells me he had trouble cutting weight. Maybe his kidney started to give out. I don't know, but he definitely had trouble cutting weight. Either way, we lost that fight, and now we have a price for Lupita Godinez, who is replacing Sajara Eubanks. A couple things going on. A couple things changed since the first video I did this week. So I'll walk through some of these fighters, who I think is value, who, oh, all over the place, who I think is value, who I don't think is a good value, and some of the plays that I might be making. Go to wewantpicks.com slash DraftKings and join our free DraftKings league. We have a free league. And if you win that free league, I will send you money. Subscribers, I send $15. Members, there's a join button under this video. Members, I will send you $30. Cash app, Venmo, however you want it. We just send you free money. So there's absolutely no reason to not go to weontpicks.com slash DraftKings and join our free league. Also, my contest is free, the one that I pay you on. But feel free, make your own paid contest. And you know we have a couple hundred people in that league. Get a paid contest. See if some people want to uh, compete for a couple of dollars and go from there. Let me walk through what we got going on here. So I've sorted this by price. So we'll look at some of the more expensive fighters. We'll touch on some things that have changed. So obviously I did this video earlier in the week. Ludovic Klein, $9,200. He's fighting Nate the Train Landwehr. Nate's wild. He comes out there aggressive. He has been getting stopped lately. So he may double down on his wild style, chase a finish, try to claw himself out of that hole, or he may slow this whole thing down a little bit and look to, you know, just get back in the wind column. Either way, it's striker versus striker. Ludovic is by far the better striker. Phenomenal footwork, super smooth, nice power. He should win, and he should win by stoppage. $9,200 is probably the amount of money you want to be spending. He did lose to Trezano in his last fight. He did have four takedowns there. Um, but And what that tells me, what is nice about that is that tells me that his game is evolving. He is a very good striker, but he also has worked in takedowns and successfully worked them. And he got four in that fight. He did lose that fight. Some people thought he won. I still thought he lost. But 104 points in that win over Young. Um, so, frankly, I think, um, I think $9,200 is probably okay to spend on him. Still $9,200, but if we compare him to Ameev, Ameev is a solid kickboxer and a solid wrestler. And if you look at his takedown numbers, he has, um, he's got four takedowns in his last two fights and then three and two in his other two wins. So every one of his wins, he gets solid takedowns. But he is a very good kickboxer as well. He's very comfortable striking and he puts up solid strike numbers. You know, he's probably worth the $9,100. Uh, he is fighting uh, a tougher guy. Uh, you know, he'll definitely get some takedowns. $9,100 is, is probably okay to spend on him. If you're if you're going between him and Ludovic, I don't know if uh, Ameev is going to get a knockout. I don't think, I don't know if he's going to get a stoppage. He'll definitely put up some numbers, right? Because even if we look here, Decision 94, decision 82, decision 20. So he could put up 80, 90 points in a decision because of how many takedowns he gets. But Ludovic may get way past that 100 with a stoppage. So I don't know. You make that call what you want to do there. I think both of them are pretty safe at that price point um, as far as winning is concerned and as far as putting up some decent numbers. So Jar Eubanks is out, but Lupita Godinez replaced her at the exact same price. Let's look at Lupita. Lupita fought last week. Last week, she fought on a Saturday, had Sunday off, Monday off, and then Tuesday night accepted a fight against um, Luana Carolina. So she had two days off, two and a half days off, and then just jumped right back into it and has a fight coming up. I loved her last week. We were all over her last week. She was in my lineup last week. We talked about it. $8,600, phenomenal price. They bumped her up to 9000 paying a little bit of a premium. Uh, and she is the same price as Sajara. You know, frankly, I think she wins. I, I think she can win on her feet and win on the ground. I mean, look what she did last week. Five takedowns, eventually won by submission, put up 127 points. 
I don't know if it's going to be that much of a beating because Luana is bigger. Um, and Luana has very good takedown defense where uh, last week didn't necessarily have that same takedown defense. But I do think Lupita Godinez is worth it. She will be in my lineup. So obviously the the first nine, three 9,000 plus fighters, uh, I, I think are solid plays. I did not like Sajara Eubanks in my lineup at $9,000. I do like Lupita Godinez at $9,000. So I will probably figure out how to work her in. Um, you know, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with these two yet, but so far these three 9,000 plus fighters, I do think are worth it. I do think all three of them will put up big money. If you look at Man and Faroe, you get a little bit of a discount, $100 less for Man and, F yeah, Faroe. Uh, she's French. You do get a little bit of a discount. You get her at 8,900 instead of 9,000. She is fighting a much tougher opponent than her last few. And I know she's a killer and she's been knocking people out. And I do think she wins. I should win by stoppage, but um, Myra Brana Silva is much tougher than these last two women. Myra's interesting because she's like a grappler who can't wrestle and has doesn't even initiate takedowns. She just hopes you end up on the ground through some weird scramble or trip or some weird circumstance. And then from there, she's super busy, works for submissions. But Manon has not very good takedown defense. It's just okay. But if she hits the ground, she pops right back up, right back up. She can scramble well, real power in her hands and her feet. And she's a killer. So 8,900 bucks. Obviously, you can't have everybody in your lineup. But, you know, I do think she'll win. And I just don't know if she'll win by stoppage. But she's got some legit power. Marquez is out. Jim Miller, we talked about. I love Jim Miller. Uh, Jim Miller, 8700 bucks. I wish he was cheaper. I wish they were like, oh, he's old, and he's only won two of his last five. But I think Jim Miller wins this fight. I think he wins it pretty clearly. I have a little bit of a prop bet on him to win inside the distance. I don't necessarily know if he'll win inside the distance, but I think this is going to be a pretty one-sided fight. I think he comes out here, gets in the dude's face, works a takedown, and then and then goes from there. His opponent is a heavy-handed striker who does really long kicks. He stands super far away and kicks right up the middle from really far away to keep distance. And then he'll step backwards and just come charging forward with a big jab, a big long jab. I think Jim Miller is just going to catch one of those kicks or work inside. And once he's inside, his opponent's going to have trouble because he needs that range to fight. So Jim Miller wins this fight, $8,700. Listen, I'll take Jim Miller and one of the 9,000 plus and then work my way down. Instead of, instead of 9,100 and 9,000 or 9,200 and 9,100, you can save yourself some money that by going Jim Miller at 87 and then our girl Lapita at 9,000, right? Save a couple hundred bucks. That'll matter later on for you um, in your lineup. Uh, Bagarai at $8,600 or Bat Garel at $8,600. His opponent's a legitimate veteran, a good guy. Um, he's got, Dana does, legit power. Legit knockout power. He is fighting a tough veteran with stay power. I think Dana wins this fight, but I do think it's closer. DraftKings pricing seems somewhat reasonable to me. The betting odds seemed off. DraftKings pricing does seem somewhat reasonable to me. So Dana's a, a, a mediocre pick. I don't know if I'm spending $8,600. Now, I could look really stupid when he comes out here and does what he does. K-O-T-K-O. K-O-T-K-O, right? I'm going to look really stupid if he starts putting up over 100 because he came out with that power and put that guy away. I I just don't know what that's going to look like in this fight, honestly. Um, Carnalozzi versus Nunes. You guys are split on this. So uh, Carnalozzi, huge, strong for this weight class. Her opponent hasn't fought in three years. Two of those years are a USADA suspension, but she's a nasty kickboxer. So we have sloppy striker in Carnalozzi, but jacked and strong versus technical fluid striker in Nunez. It's going to go one of two ways. Either Nunez is going to light up Carnalozzi, just do an absolute showcase of, of how good her striking really is, or Carnalozzi is just going to bully beat down, hold her against the cage, push her down, drag her down, make it ugly, nothing really technical or pretty about it. 
So I don't know what you want to do here. I would not spend the $8,500 personally, but there are some of you in the comments that just think Carnelos is going to go out here, drag Nunes to the ground and just pound her out and be done and score a million points. If that is how you feel, then $8,500 is a great price because she is a very good fighter and she's very tough. We saw that in her last fight against Liang. She was almost knocked out cold and then just came back from the dead and made that happen and, and made that look phenomenal in, in an awesome fight. So I'm not going to do it with Carnalozzi, but you may. Aspen Ladd, I've been a giant fan of hers, or at least a giant supporter of hers. I've been picking her to win for every single one of these fights, even though they keep getting canceled. Uh, her pricing has changed dramatically. This is now basically uh, a pick em here, $8,400 to, uh, what is it, 8200 Um you know, it's based or uh, 8,000, 8, 8, yeah, 8,000. Uh, anyway, I don't think Aspen Ladd wins this fight. It's been a three-year layoff or two-year layoff, whatever it is. And I did like her in her past matchups, but this is a much harder fight. Norma Dumont is a very good striker. Norma Dumont's got good takedown defense. She's super tough, very skilled. Aspen Ladd coming up in weight. You know, she just missed weight two weeks ago. She's now back at it, but coming up in weight. She looked good on the scale, didn't look soft or anything, but she is coming up in weight. You know, it's it's a tricky fight. Um, I'm on the other side of this, so obviously I'm not going to draft Aspen Lad, but I do think there's some value in her. If if you're on that side, eighty four hundred dollars is a good price to pay for somebody that you know for for people people think that she may be a champion someday. Bruno Silva, eighty three hundred dollars, one hundred percent should be in your lineup. Eighty three hundred dollars for a guy with that kind of knockout power, the takedowns that he has. So we've only seen him in the UFC once. And he knocked out Wellington Terman in his guard. But he's got really good takedowns and phenomenal ground and pound and can knock you out on his feet. So Bruno Silva is the real deal. This is definitely a tough fight. This is not a guarantee. He's fighting Andrew Sanchez. But I think Bruno Silva wins. I think he wins by stoppage. And I will take him all day at $8,300. Uh, if we scroll down, I think Andre Olofsky is a trap. You see 8200 bucks, you go, wow, Andre Lofsky, $8,200. He's a vet. He should win this fight. That's worth it. But let's look. Let's look. In a win, 74 points against Chase Sherman. Okay, fine. Then obviously the loss against Asimov didn't score. But look at this. Bozer and Linz, 44, 50. You get 30 points just for winning. That means he only scored 14 points on his own against Bozer. 20 points on his own against Linz. Andre Orlovsky at this point in his career is still very skilled, but not very dangerous. He's not going to come out there, and he doesn't need to. He's not going to come out there and look to take your head off. He's going to come out, a very technical point boxing match, basically. He'll work in a few kicks, but mostly boxing, in and out, touch move, touch move, touch move. He should put up some solid strike numbers, right? I mean, 34 against Bozer is nuts. But he should put up some solid strike numbers. But, you know... Honestly, I just, I'm not going to spend $8,200 on a dude that could score me 44 in a win. I just don't think he's worth it. I think that's a trap. I do think he wins, though. So I'm not touching Andrew Sanchez, or uh, I'm not touching his opponent, uh, Felipe. Let's scroll our way down. Nate Landwehr, the dude's a maniac. I would not put him in my lineup because I think he's going to lose, but he could shock the world. And honestly, anybody who comes out there that aggressive, that crazy, could put up some real points, of course. Uh, let's take a look at Roberts, Amiv versus uh, Amiv. Listen, look at everybody that Roberts has fought. He's been around forever. He's fought a lot of people. And he's been in some real wars. I just don't, I just don't see it happening, right? I don't see him being as technically sound as Amiv on the ground. You know, he's probably more technical on his feet, but Amiv is a good striker and a good wrestler. I just don't see Danny Roberts getting it done. $7,100 is not worth it. Take a look at Luana, uh, Luana Carolina. Listen, she's super good in the clinch, legit in the clinch, like elbows, knees. She's dangerous, dangerous in the clinch, and she's big. I And, and her takedown defense is 90%, but against who? Lipsky, terrible takedowns. I picked her to win her last fight, and she did, but terrible takedowns. Kachera, you know what I mean? Like there's not, she hasn't, who has she fought that really tried to take her down? Lupita is going to try and probably will take her down. If you like Luana, $7,200 is a bargain. I think she gets beat up on her feet and beat up on the ground. So I don't think she's going to win here. But 
uh, I could be just way too, uh, way too high in Lupita. Let's take a look at Nunez, who I mentioned earlier, $7,700. We've got no data here. It's her UFC debut. But phenomenal kickboxer, making her UFC debut, which is a little risky. Three years off, which is a little risky. But she's fighting Carnelosi, who's tough but not very skilled. And I will take the technical kickboxer versus sort of the strong brawler. Um, so I think Nunez, honestly, I think she wins. $7,700, I will probably have her in my lineup, but there are question marks there. Three years off? Yikes. What is she going to look like? No more, hopefully no more steroids, right? She popped USADA suspension. I, I would assume she's not doing it again. What's she going to look like? A shell of herself? The real deal? I don't know. So we'll see. And then finally, I'll touch on Norma Dumont. $7,800. She will be in my lineup. She's a very good fighter. She has good takedowns. She's got good striking. She's good on the ground. I mean, Norma Dumont is the real deal. She's a very good fighter. All right, she lost to Anderson, Megan Anderson, who's massive. And everybody's trashing Megan Anderson because of what she looked like against Nunes. Okay, so she lost to the greatest of all time the way she lost. But Megan Anderson is absolutely tremendous. And Norma Dumont had a little bit of trouble with that. But I do like Norma in this fight. I think... You know, she's been busier. She's more technically sound than Aspen Ladd. And I think she can get this done, win this fight. Uh, it's probably going to go five rounds. So she will put up some real numbers in a five round, most likely striking affair. So I like Norma here. Let me know your picks and plays. We want picks.com slash DraftKings. Join the free league. Make a contest if you want. Play people for money. But my free league pays you if you win. We want picks.com slash DraftKings. Click the join button under this video to become a member. It not only supports us, but you get twice as much money if you win. I'll see you on Saturday.